What's up everyone, I'm Elias and today I'm going to be reviewing The Company Man on Nintendo Switch for Indie Gamer Team. Okay, I was kind of getting on the groove of that song for a second, sorry about that. Okay, so this is The Company Man. I've been dreading to review this because I absolutely, I don't like this game. Uh, no, I'll explain in just a second. So first, before we get to anything, let's go to the settings. We got the audio, and uh, I, the audio, I didn't change the mass volume, changed the volume on... OBS, so it might sound a little bit more quiet. Language, and we also got the controller. And, oh wait, you can rebind this stuff. Okay, that's nice. Um, okay, let me let me just describe it. So, um, there's melee attack, and then there's dash, and there's jump. Uh, I don't really use shoot, it's just these three buttons. Actually, it's more like dash and jump. Like this game, Wait, let me, let me just... Oh, wait, no. I don't want to continue. No, get me out of here. So I did complete this game. Um, uh, as you can see, wait. If we go on the elevator. I do like the... Uh, uh, here's the thing about this game. I... Oh, let me, let me actually... Let me just exit. Okay, so if we load game, this shows I'm level 7. I did complete the final boss. Final boss is eh. A new game. Normal. Uh, this game was hella boring. Um, my reasoning behind that is I felt like 90%, 90 percent, 90 plus percent, I felt like I was just jumping and dashing. You know, it was, I was so mad at, at completing this game because I was just, it was hella boring. But I really, I, what, what's really unfortunate about that is that even though the the gameplay is boring, I still like the... I kind of like the story and I really like the art style and the music. It's just... Those things can't really carry the game play. They, they can't really carry the gameplay for this. So here I'm gonna get my melee weapon. Uh, bada bing bada boom. This is about a guy who's trying to become a CEO of some company but he has to fight a bunch of people. And then you fight employees, and then you basically fire them. That's you don't kill them. You you fire them. That's that's what it is. Yeah, most of the time I was like this though. I, I'm I kid you not. Most of the time, Aki. I hope you're not seeing this because um my boss for the gamer team um, who requests all the games told me that they liked this game after I told uh, told her that I hated this game. And, yeah, I just... And I've been delaying this review because I've been dreading just trying to review this. And I kind of feel bad for that. So you get sent to Paper Hell. Woo! Yeah, so it took me about three to five hours to uh, to beat the game. I want to say it took probably about four-ish, four-ish hours. So this is me. This is wait. Let me let me show you what my gameplay was like. Okay, maybe not. This this is not probably a perfect area to show. But you see, I'm just kind of dashing. And then they give you weapons throughout the game, and I'm like, why the hell am I getting weapons <laughs> when I'm just dashing and uh, they go use the weapons for the bosses. And the bosses are okay, they're not like... Yeah, they're, they're just okay. Coffee? And then you got coffee checkpoints. Oh, and then I gotta fight Dwight, because this, this is the first area. They get, gotta make an office reference, obviously. Oh yeah, I can imagine this being a good speedrunning game. I'm trying to think of what to say while I'm doing this part. Did I not get attacked? Did you guys see that fire? Did that just... Nice. Oh, gotta fight Dwight again. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Do I get coffee? No. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, it won't... It doesn't act as an invincible animation. Which is super dumb. Actually, that is hella dumb. I forgot about that. So freaking attacks you. Like for, like for example, I was just playing Shovel Knight like the, these past couple days, okay? And then there was one point where there was a chest and a bomb, okay? And if you open the chest up while the bomb was about to explode, you'd be invincible, right? And then for this, they're like, no, how about we not do that? And it was super dumb. Oh, I was gonna get behind him. Okay, there we go. I'm just trying to quickly get through the first level for you guys. Okay, I, I was not thinking. And then you're gonna immediately get out of there. Okay, yeah, I'm just not on A game tonight. There we go. Checkpoint. Lever. This is a $20 game. I'm actually kind of shocked. It's just... It. I gotta fight him here. There we go. Okay, I uh, just want to make sure I can beat him and then like call it. This is okay. I'm just gonna spoil it right now. This is not getting the seal of approval for me. It was just it was hella boring. I don't even remember what I was trying to like, what I played afterwards. It was just bad. Like this is just, this is boring. I I think how they could have improved it, okay, is by using a leveling up system. I think this, this game has made me realize how important a leveling up system could be in a platformer like this, where, um, Attacking enemies would actually be beneficial, but or would actually um, uh, it it'd give me some incentive to defeat the enemies. But since there's like literally no incentive to attack the enemies, then what's the point of attacking? You know, there, there is no point. Okay, I just want to kill these guys. Okay, where are they? I just want to end this. Yeah, I think I killed one of them. Okay, good. He's dead. He made a Dwight reference, and then I have to go up the stairs. I think I'm gonna end it after this video. Or, or sorry, in, in the video after um, completing this level. Wait, do I have to shut it down or something? Oh, yep. Woo! Stop the paper management. Like, this will be 
Probably my shortest review ever. Okay, so let me recap. Um, this game is hella boring because it is a... It, it feels like it's more intended for speedrunning, but it's just boring because it's just... Um, jump, dash, jump, dash. Oh, I'm not done with this level. Okay, I guess I have to get through this level. Um, you know what? No, no, we we are not getting. I so I don't know how I can do this game. I'm gonna. Oh wait, let's get into the notebook. Okay, I don't. It's not showing me a notebook. Settings. Okay, I'm 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 exiting to the lobby. Look, I want to thank um, Forest Studio and Radiant Radiantity Publishing. For the review code, uh, I didn't like this game because it it just didn't capture everything else captured my attention except the gameplay, and I was disappointed about that because I feel like this could have been a cooler game, but it wasn't. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's more intended for speedrunning. If you're a speedrunner, I guess this would be your thing. But yeah, I it was. I dashed so much in this game, except for the bosses. I had to, I had to actually attack the bosses. But other than that, it was just jump, dash, and, and repeat over and over. Um, yeah, I would like to thank you guys for the um, for watching. Um, sorry, that was hella short. It's just I was dreading making this review, and I'm kind of glad I'm getting this over with. So thank you for bearing with me on that. Oh, and sorry about the echoing in the room. I like my last video video of Cult of the Lamb. I'm in uh, I'm in some sort of conference room, so that's why it's kind of echoey. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. And uh, I, oh, not getting the indie gamer team seal of approval. And uh, I will see you guys later. Adios.